Hey there folks, it's Josh. You're watching That Christian Show. And out of the camera's view with my other hand, I am actually belatedly trying to get into my Christian folder on my phone so that aside from telling you that a webisode full of vlogging about prayer journaling, um, stuff like that, it's early, it's Sunday, and I'm trying to use some pre-church time to get some stuff done. Um, so... Um, hmm. Let's go with Pray Today from Voice of the Martyrs. Um, the country they want you to pray for today is Gaza and the West Bank. Pray for Gaza's approximately 400 to 500 secret believers and for the spread of the gospel there. And um, if you want me to do anything other than vlogging, pray that I get better cameras because I want to film Christian bands all year round. But I'm kind of in a slump as far as equipment right now. Chances are this is going to be on like that Christian show or something. So here is some um, examples of um, God as the great I am in the Old Testament. <coughs> Exodus 3.14, on the mountaintop, and God said unto Moses, I am that I am, and he said, Thou sh thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me, Moses, unto you. Isaiah 41.4, Who hath wrought and done it, calling the generations from the beginning? I the Lord, the first, and with the last, I am he. Isaiah 44.6, Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last, and beside me there is no God. Isaiah 48.12, Hearken unto me, O Jacob, and Israel, my called. I am he, I am the first, I am also the last. Hey there, here is uh, Job chapter 11. Then Zophar the Namathite replied, Are all these words to go unanswered? Is this talker to be vindicated? Will your idle talk reduce men to silence? Will no one rebuke you when you mock? You say to God, My beliefs are flawless and I am pure in your sight. Oh, how I wish that God would speak, that he would open his lips against you and disclose you to you the secrets of wisdom. For true wisdom has two sides. Know this, God has even forgiven, forgotten some of your sin. Can you fathom the mysteries of God? Can you probe the limits of the Almighty? They are higher than the heavens. What can you do? They are deeper than the depths of the grave. What can you know? Their measure is longer than the earth and wider than the sea. If he comes along and confines you in prison and convenes a court, who can oppress him? Surely he recognizes deceitful men, and when he sees evil, does he not take note? But a witless man can no more become wise than a wild donkey's colt can be born a man. Yet if you devote your heart to him and stretch out your hands to him, if you put away the sin that is in your hand and allow no evil to dwell in your tent, then you will lift up your face without shame. You will stand firm and without fear. <coughs> You will surely forget your trouble, recalling it as the waters go gone by. Life will be brighter than noonday, and darkness will become like morning. You will be secure because there is hope. You will look about you and take your rest in safety. You will lie down with no one to make you afraid, and many will court your favor. But the eyes of the wicked will fail, and escape will elude them. Their hope will become a dying gasp. Christian show, and here is my prayer journal until I repeat it. For John Verania, what's good? Gene Allard, what's good? Matt Conti, what's good? Harry Nelson, what's good? I am Karen, Heavenly Father. Thank you for this blessed Sunday, or Friday. Praises to you. Doris Bernard, what's good? Me, I want to be a writer now. Me, why do I have to have such hard shits? Please heal me of that. Thanks. Uh, me, I would still like some guidance for my life. Jody Michaels, what's good? Naomi, heal her headaches and make the kids go to school. Me, I am. I know I'm missing the mark on what you want from me. I want the relationship with you above all. But what can I do? I am stupid and ignorant, and I know that's where you bring. Where, you bring. I always mess up. Therefore, I want an RV so I can travel, and visit places that I never would go to otherwise. Please give me an RV to live in full time. Gail White, what's good? 
Harry Nelson, what's good? I believe that is a repeat. afraid of heights. He's never gone up with me. I've gone up twice. He's never gone up. Now, you know, they need to give you a place to jump off. But but if you don't, what do you do? Hey there, folks. Um, from the Voice of the Martyrs, um, Pray Today app, the country that they're praying for is China. Um, pray for President Hu Jintao. Um, what happened? I don't know. China was declared the People's Republic of China in 1949 by Chairman Mao Zedong, who quickly sought to purge society of anything religious. In recent years, living standards have improved in urban areas while little has changed in the countryside, promoting discontent. Political controls remain tight. The human rights record in China is one of the worst in the world. Its system of re-education through labor detains hundreds of thousands of people each year in work camps without a court hearing. In Tibet, an uh, autonomous region within China, Christians are trapped between the oppression of Buddhism and the oppression of communism. On May 8, 2009, after the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom recommended China remain on the U.S. Department of State's list of the world's worst violations of religious freedom, a spokesman for China's foreign ministry said the report was an attempt to smear China. <coughs> Each year, China forcibly repatriates around 4,000 refugees to North Korea, where they face imprisonment, torture, and even execution. Category Restricted Nation Religion Non religious, other 49.58%, Chinese 28.5%, Christian 7.25%. Ideology is Communism. Head of State President Hu Jintao. More Christians are in prison or under detention in China than in any other country. House churches, unregistered churches, which make up approximately 90% of Chinese Christians, endure unimaginable persecution. But they stand by the commitment to preach the gospel no matter the cost. In Tibet, most of the persecution against Christians comes from militant Tibetan Buddhists. On February 11, 2009, Chinese authorities arrested 60 house church leaders, including two South Korean pastors who were attending a seminar in Wolong District, Henan Providence. Um, police officers disrupted the meeting, arrested the Christians, and confiscated phones, books, and money. Authorities forced the believers to register with the government and pay a fine. <laughs> Elderly believers were released, but the South Korean pastors were deported three days later for engaging in Ill illegal <coughs> religious activities. They have been banned from entering the country for five years. <sighs> Other house church Christians remain in detention, and several churches have been forced to close or relocate. Hey there, and you are going to be watching something to, to, for that Christian show because this is going to be all about prayer. Actually, from the website allaboutprayer.org, um, the um, what is prayer? Well, I'm going to read to you a different section of this and take a break and then come back and read another section. Um, prayer is talking to God. Prayer is a privilege. Imagine meeting your best friend for coffee at your favorite cafe. Your friend knows everything about you. You can count on your friend being exactly where he says he will be. Anytime you need him, you can call and he won't be upset with you. He is willing to listen and responds with love and concern. That is just like prayer. The only difference is that your best friend is God. God is available to you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. He knows everything you ever did, and He still loves you. He knows your future, too. He has the best plans for your life. He cares for you so much that He gave His Son so that you could be with Him forever. 